What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody having a blessed day today, man. Happy Sunday to everybody. And as I promised y'all in the previous video before, I was gonna do this top 10 most slept on sneakers. Uh, 2018 sleepers man sleepers a lot of shoes were slept on so I, I probably couldn't fit every shoe that I wanted to into this list but I didn't want to make it a 30 minute video so I'm just gonna do 10 shoes um forgive me if you hear my daughter in the background because she's back there playing she's downstairs with her mom playing and I'm drying clothes in the other room so you might hear the dry in the background I apologize also your boy might be perspiring a little bit so don't be thinking I'm out of breath and then from doing this uh countdown I just got finished straightening up my sneaker room so I'm a little winded man so bell with your boy you feel me anyway let's go in there and get to this countdown real quick two honorable mentions it's not gonna be a top 10 as like numbered top 10. I'm just gonna show 10 shoes because I didn't I didn't put them in any order because all these shoes y'all was sleeping on with the same intensity. Nobody had their coffee this year. Y'all just was sleep. But um I thought of these last two shoes at the last minute and they weren't really slept on. They sold out. But I think the only reason they sold out is because they was limited. But let's go ahead and get into them. First shoe, I got the Air Jordan 18 uh Sport Royal OG. This shoe right here was um it was just like, I think it's the first, was it the first retro it is? Y'all correct me if, if I'm wrong, it might, it might have retro before. Actually, I think this might, yeah, this is the first retro. I'm not gonna even really say people slept on the shoe because it sold out, but it was a super limited quick strike. And I just didn't hear a whole bunch of people talking about this shoe. I didn't hear about a whole bunch of people going after this shoe to copy it and stuff like that. And I feel like it has a certain right to be an iconist for the simple fact that MJ rocked it his um, last year. I think it was his last year playing. Uh, NBA basketball ever with the Wizards. So that's why I want to go ahead and put that on the honorable mention. And my second honorable mention is a shoe that was actually hyped before the release in the Air Jordan uh, 3 Tinker uh, alternate thing. This shoe right here was very, very hyped before. Like, I don't even know if y'all can remember. But this shoe, like, people was like, man, them Tinkers dope. They sold out off sneakers out when they released. Um, Nike on the ass. Y'all already know. But this shoe sold out on Sneakers app, and it sold out on every website. Then, I don't know about other people's cities, but in Atlanta, man, they started restocking the thing crazy, and I started seeing them sitting around for a long time. I just recently stopped seeing this shoe sitting on shelves at my mall. So, those two are my honorable mentions, so let's go ahead and get into the 10 sneakers that I thought was just super slept on this year, and I'm just going to grab them randomly, no countdown, uh, with the one that's closest to me first. The uh, Air Jordan 6. Chinese New Year, was it the Chinese New Year or was it China? One of those. This shoe right here was slept on, man. I feel like, only got three of them hits or something. I feel like this shoe was a dope silhouette, but I think one of the main reasons people slept on, number one, people don't like the rolls, and number two, people didn't like the fact that they just like bring the DMP pack out, leave all this pattern off and just make a black and gold Jordan 6. Me, I thought this shoe was dope. 250 price point might have pushed some people away, but I just thought it was a dope clean sneaker. Something on the bottom of them. And I'm glad I didn't sleep on it, man. This one is not going back, not selling it. I'm going to rock this one because a lot of people ain't going to be able to be wearing this shoe, man. Next up, I got the Jordan 12 uh, International, uh, the international out of the International Pack. I copped a couple of them out that pack. This was one of them. Very dope sneaker in my humble opinion. Just... <laughs> just clean, a clean 12, man. I love Jordan 12. They put that graphic on that guy. They put that fish scale down here them on the mud guard. Suede action going on. Hits the red, man. What's like what's not to like about this shoe, man? Very dope. Next we got the um one of the most iconic shoes on the list, in my humble opinion, is the Air Jordan 14 last shot things. This sleek this nigga was slept on. A lot of people I guess don't like 14s, but I mean I, I like 14s. They dope. They just got that Ferrari look about them. Um, MJ brought these out. I think he did 13s and 14s his last year playing for the Chicago Bulls. And of course, he brought this one out on the last shot. Come on, last shot with the Bulls for the championship. Man, you got to have a pair of these in your collection if you're an MJ fan, man. Um, next is a shoe that my wife bought me. I think it was for my birthday, I believe. Yeah, the Air Max 98 South Beach, uh, AKA Tidal Waves, the name that Nike was giving out for this shoe. Very, very, very fine, clean shoe right here, man. I think, I mean, just good for the springtime, going on vacation, stuff like this. I just really like this shoe to pop with some basketball shorts or some some Miami Vice, whatever action going on. But I, I think people thought that they was going to 
and just start bringing out so many colorways in the 98s like they did the Air Max 97s. They brought out less colorways in these and this was one of the first ones to release. But I mean I say it slept on but it sold out when it released so I, I just don't really hear people talking about this shoe so I can't really say slept on but I put it on the list nonetheless. Um, Next up, OG Jordan again. This shoe could have easily been on my top 10 because it's kind of a shoe that I always like. Um, and it's the Air Jordan 10 Shadow. Love that sneaker right there. It's just clean, man. It's clean. It's simple and it's clean. You can rock it with a lot of stuff. Y'all hear my daughter in the background. You can rock this with a lot of stuff. It's a simple shoe. But it's just it's just clean, man. MJ played in these guys. And when, when this is a shoe that Michael Jordan played in, man, I'm, I'm always trying to jump on them. Has everything been Jordan? Like, I showed the Air Max. Um, and let's show another nine Jordan real quick. And as we stick into the iconic sneaker, the sneakers that uh, everybody should at least just own one pair of, it's the Air Max 95 and the Solar Red colorway OG things. Um, now I'm confused about the OG though, because a lot of people saying it was a darker red that was on the OG, and a lot of people saying it was this Solar Red that was on the OG. It says OG on the box. So I don't know whether Nike trying to pull a fast one on me or not. This looks like what I saw back in the day. I could be wrong, but it's close enough. Had to go ahead and get this pair in my collection. Never had this shoe. And it's just clean when you put it on feet. I've worn this shoe a few times already. Got the little PSI uh, specs on the bottom of it. Just a dope shoe, in my humble opinion, man. Next up, we got the... What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? All right, I'm gonna do two Jordan 3s in a row. Today, this year was like the year of the threes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these two Jordan 3s in a row, starting with the Air Jordan 3 International, guys. I was surprised so many people slept on this shoe. This, it got that off-white sail upper on it. It got hits of that red, and it's, the, it's a hits of the gray, and none of it is white. It's just that subtlety of that sneaker that I think makes it so fine, man. Hits a little hits of blue. And I just saw the um the jersey that went with these when he played in the international game. And I might cop that guy. I think it was on sale at DTLR or something like that. But the elephant print, it just changed the colorway up a whole lot for this Jordan 3s. I think these was really uh, unique as far as Jordan 3s. The other shoe has the uh, Michael Jordan signature on the tongue and I just thought that, that that was just super unique for this shoe. You never know. These shoes like this sometimes they don't ever bring out again so you might that might be your only chance to cop a pair. Glad I went ahead and got these man. Air Jordan 3 international thing. Next up speaking of Air Jordan 3s um, the Air Jordan 3 um, Katrina Everybody was so hyped about this shoe coming out. This shoe was put up for a cause and they auctioned it off and it never released to the public. This time they brought these things back, released them to the public, and me being a part of the public, I had to jump on these guys. The Air Jordan 3 Katrina, man, I say slept on just for the simple fact that if so many people was hyped and ready for this shoe to come out like they said they was, these wouldn't have set on shelves at all. And these set on shelves for at least two, three weeks or whatever. And at least in my city, they, they didn't sell out right away. So um, moving on. I think we got two more sneakers. I did it pretty fast this time. I took a minute to do the top 10 um, sneakers of the year. But um, I wanted to go ahead and knock this one out. So, last two shoes. Which one I'm going to do first? I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, the Air, the Nike Air Presto. See, sweat falling from my brow. Uh, the Nike Presto things, man. This is the uh, yellow, what do they call it? Vote yellow? I don't know what they call this. But it was the uh, acronym yellow colorway. This one in the black was super slept on. A lot of people was going after the one, the rush pink, which I got that one as well. That was in my top 10 actually. But this this one in the black one I would put on the same level as far as as far as sleeping as people sleeping on a man. Just clean. Just a clean shoe. I think people was hating on the pattern or something like that. But I don't know man. Last The last uh, uh, acronyms that came out is reselling for like between eight and fifteen hundred dollars, and these right here are like going for under retail, like on Stock X right now. So I might go ahead and get the black one as well while people are sleeping. Uh, you probably never get the shoe again. No other retros of it. So glad I'm glad y'all slept because it made it easy for me to buy and not have to pay over retail. So um, last but not least, and I can't believe people slept on this shoe, and I have my own theories about uh, why people slept on this shoe, and it's the Air Jordan 11 Low. Jita things, man. Derek Jita, number two, guys. Slept on. Man, the sweat. Look at the sweat on them thing, man. 
But look at the suede on them guys, man. Very good materials on these. They come with the boot laces. I put the rope, um, the thick rope laces, basketball hoop laces in them. Um, number two on the back, number two on the inside. Just, just a well put together shoe, a premium sneaker. Got the, got the, um, the inserts, man. Just like the um, mid 11s. And it's just, it's crazy because I think they made a lot of these, but originally people was kind of hyped, but when they found out that they were sitting and it was easy to get, I think, was it East Bay that did like 50 restocks on this shoe? You can get this shoe up to a week after it released because East Bay just kept pumping them things out, man. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a New York Yankees fan. I'm not even the biggest Derek Jeter fan in the world, but I am a fan of good quality dope sneakers and the Air Jordan 11 low Jeter just happened to be one of the dopest and one of the most slept on sneakers of 2018. So anyway, that's it. That was 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was 10. Two honorable mentions. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of my most slept on uh, sneakers of 2018. Comment below what yours was. What you think people just slept on with sneakers? news and on they should have caught I, I left a lot off this list so i know y'all probably got some too anyway i appreciate y'all for watching this video y'all hit the thumbs up like subscribe and all that good stuff i think this might be i might have one more video before before the new year I don't know, y'all stay tuned, man. As always, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video. Could dish what I'm here for. Don't.